Hey guys, what's going on? We are here with a demo called Who We Are Now. It's a post-apocalyptic gay dating sim, so pretty much how could you go wrong, really? Actually, hadn't heard of this one, but the Gamerette let me know about this. Um, I actually met her through the Google Play Guild, so if you like dating sims and YouTubers who do them, I'll put a link to her below. She's one of my friends now, and um, yeah, she covers dating sims, so I assume if you guys are looking for that sort of thing, she'd be relevant. I'll also put a link to this game's demo. And uh, let's check this out together, see how it is. Ten years ago, the world ended in nuclear fire. Cities burned, smoldered, and then turned into hives. Irradiated. Fuck, I could never say this word. Irradiated mutants. There. Bandit gangs stalked the wasteland our world had become, fighting each other and killing innocents for what meager supplies were left. Those just trying to survive huddled together in small encampments for as long as possible, but the line was always the same. Keep moving. Keep your head down, stay alive. Survival was an act of bravery. At some point, things changed. The bandit, war bandit wars cal calmed as gangs destroyed each other. Life was a little bit easier. Then the thoughts came rushing in. When you could finally take a breath, you realized how utterly alone you were. For most of us, every person we had known was dead. Where do we go from here? Am I even the same person I was 10 years ago? I've wandered this place for years. I've stopped at this town called home a few times. Now I've come back. I feel like I'm looking for something. I'm just not sure what yet. Wes, it's been so long, my dear. Welcome back. Welcome back to home. Elder Mor Mora, thank you. What brings you back here after so long? To be honest, I'm not entirely sure myself. I needed company, I suppose. Well, there is plenty of that to be found in home. Yeah, this place has really grown since I was here last. It has indeed, Wes. Our little settlement is flourishing. I'm glad. There needs to be some place that feels safe out here. Safe? Safety feels like a luxury, even now. But never mind that. We have an empty house that you can move into for as long as you plan on staying here. Which I hope is a good long while. As always, we ask that you help home while you are here. If I remember correctly, you served as a guard while you were here last? You have a good memory, Mora, but I can't do that this time. Oh, why is that? I gave up fighting. Gave up? What do you mean? <laughs> Girl! I did a lot of shit to survive, Moira. Moira. Sorry if I'm saying her name wrong. A lot of shit that I'd rather not talk about. And at some point, it broke me. I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't bring myself to kill someone else again, even if it meant I got hurt. I threw my gun away. Oh, that's so valuable! That's so valuable! Why didn't you trade it? Wes, why didn't you trade your gun for something else? I understand, Wes. We've all done things that keep us up at night. We all wish there was another way. But we shouldn't dwell on the past. Let us instead celebrate this. Celebrate? Home is a rare place where you can give up fighting. Celebrate the fact that you can live here and not have to fight. So, is there some other way I can help? Of course there is, my dear. Forgive me for prying, but an old woman can't help it. You're hardly old, Moira. Forget I want to call her Moira from, like, Fallout. I have that whole post-apocalyptic vibe in my head. Forgive an aging woman then, but I can't help but notice that you have a burden. Oh, that's just my boner. No, I'm just, stop. A burden? Yes, you're not alone, you know. There are many people here who are suffering who aren't able to move on. You think I'm suffering? I think you're having difficulties. And maybe helping others with their difficulties will allow you to work through your own. So, you want me to be a therapist? You certainly have a way with words, Wes. <laughs> Sorry. What do you want me to do? There are four men I have in mind who live here. Two of them are out of town at the moment, but the other two you can meet whenever you'd like. Xander is one of the younger folks living here. He came to us a couple of years ago. Wait, is he of age though? I'm <laughs> like, is he of age? Whoa, hold up. He mostly keeps to himself, poor thing. The end of the world had some odd side effects, as you know. Xander is a product of this. Well, what do you mean? I'm not sure how, whether it was radiation or something else, but now he's gay. <laughs> no, Mora, it's not how it works. <laughs> I'm joking. His body is electrified. What? Like Electro? Electro? He was a comic book villain. Actually, just never mind. Please continue. Unfortunately, due to Xander's powers and his somewhat short temper, people tend to avoid him. He tries to pretend like he doesn't care, but I can tell it's eating him up inside. I think he needs some company, somebody to talk to. Short temper, you say? He's still something of a child at heart, I'm afraid. He has a temper, but I think that's just a cover for his pain. He really is a good boy. He just needs someone else to help him see it. 
Well, I suppose I can see what I can do. Who is the other guy? Jesse has lived here for a couple of years as well. He came to us close to death. He had been attacked by bandits. They left his arm shattered and his face scarred. With the medical supplies we had, we couldn't do much for him. In the end, his arm had to be amputated to save him. That's terrible that someone would do that to him. He recovered? Yes, though I do not think his mind has. He's a solid man and largely keeps to himself. These days I've been seeing him less and less. I think he's losing himself less. He needs someone to step in and at the very least offer a shoulder to lean on. I'm not sure how much I can be help I can be, but... So this is what I'm asking of you, Wes. Step in, try to help these men as much as you can. Doesn't this seem a bit intrusive, barging into someone else's life? Well, yes, but I'm not sure what else to do. If you don't step in, I'm afraid they'll... They'll what? Leave. I worry tremendously whenever someone leaves because often they do not return. Even when you left, as strong as you were. If Xander or Jesse were to leave, it'd be a march to their deaths, I'm sure of it. So please... Will you help them? Of course I will. Do you really think I can help? Of course I will. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Wes. You are doing a lot of good taking this on. Please, you should go beat them immediately. You mean go to their house? Just knock on their door? Yes, why not? Um, if you think so. Where should I go first? Ooh, ooh, who do we want? Electro Boy? That sounds sort of hot. Or Xander with the nub. That sounds sort of hot, too. I like both. Ooh, I think I was feeling Xander's look more. No, no, Jesse's look more. Let's start with Xander. This is Xander's place. Well, here goes nothing. I knock on the door, and after a couple of seconds, I can hear a voice from inside. Come in! Oh, uh, hi. I, you weren't who I was expecting. Oh, hi. Um, I'm Wes. I'm new here. Wes, huh? I'm Xander. Nice, nice to meet you. He doesn't respond. He's giving me a very thorough inspection with his eyes. You like what you see? I'm like what I see. Uh, hi, I'm up here. Ah, you're also down there, you know. Sorry, I was just over here looking at my burden. That's what I call it. Just. You're cute. You're cute, that's all. He's not exactly coy, is he? Same to you. Ha <laughs> we both need to work on our flirt game, I think. Yeah, well, it's been a while, all right? Yeah, not exactly easy to get practice these days. So, cute boys don't usually just show up at my door. What brings you here? Oh, uh... Where is that me? I'm new in town, just meeting people. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll... Should I be honest? Maybe honesty is a good policy. Moira sent me. Yeah, I should have guessed. What do you mean? She does this. A new guy moves in. She sends them around town. Trying to set people up, if you ask me. She just wants people to be happy. Happy, huh? I wonder what that even looks like. Yeah, I used to think happiness meant a steady job, a creative outlet, and a nice guy to come home to. That was a long time ago, though. I don't think I even got that far. Happiness was going to be part of my future. My future was ways off yet when everything went down. So how long have you been here in home? A couple of years now. I wandered the ways for a while until I finally came here. Mora took me in without a second thought. I'd give her hell, but yeah, I guess she really does care about people. Yeah, she does. Wait, you were wandering by yourself? Well, yeah, I got into a couple of groups, but I never felt like I fit in. Eventually, I just left, though I guess it hasn't changed since I moved in. What do you mean? I feel different from everyone else. Well, I guess I am different. Different? Yo, tell me about that electro shit. Did Mora tell you? Oh, you mean your power. I guess you could call it that. It never feels like a power, but calling it a curse feels stupid. So yeah, I guess ca uh, power works. How did you get your power? Can you control it? Ooh, can you control it? Can it? Alright. No, I wish. Sometimes if I could focus, I feel like I could do stuff with it, but... But? But? <laughs> but? But? I... <laughs> I'm scared something bad will happen. Bad? It's... It can be powerful. I've done some terrible things by accident, and I don't want to hurt anyone here. What kind of things? Well, there's been a few times where I've been harassed, attacked, that's... that kind of thing. I guess people assume I'm weak because I'm small, but I don't know. If I get pushed too much, I feel something grow inside of me. Something dark. 
dark. Things will get hazy, my memory cuts out, then when I come to, everyone is dead and everything is burning. Well, I better not piss him off. <laughs> I really better not piss him off. Jesus. It's terrifying. I don't even know what I do, and I'm not sure if I want to know. But if you but if you could control it, you could stop that from happening, right? Yeah, I think. What if I helped you? Helped me how? I don't know. I could be your teacher. I could train with you. Bitch! <laughs> Wait, I don't know how to train someone in electro superpowers. I'm unexperienced with that. You know, maybe, I guess you could kind of teach them to keep calm when people are harassing them. But I mean, in a post-apocalyptic situation, I don't know. People are pretty hardcore. If you have someone with you, then it won't be as scary, right? You would do that for me? Why? I can't see a cute boy being sad, Lamb. I flirt game. Oh, God, stop. <laughs> Fuck. It's been a long time, Xander, all right? But I really do appreciate it. Anything I can do to help, Xander? Well, it was nice meeting you. I should probably head back to the house Mora's picked for me. Do some decorating, I guess. Well, don't let me stop you from the excitement. You want to come over? <laughs> I'll uh, just walk you to the door. Oh, hello. He's awfully close all of a sudden. Your door is just over here. Xander leans over to me. His lips brush against my cheek, brush up against my cheek when suddenly. What? Ow. <laughs> Ow, but I liked it. And you can do it again on my dick. Oh, oh my god. I'm so sorry. It's, it's okay. God, I'm so stupid. No, Xander, you're... Nah. You should go. Xander, just listen. Look, I was laying on my floor. I said go! Please. Okay. I'll come back tomorrow, I promise. Thank you. Well, I guess I should introduce myself to Jesse next. All right, we got a kiss on the cheek, and it was electric. Actually, literally. Well, I've been knocking, but nobody is answering the door. It is unlocked, though, so I guess I'll just... Hello? Anyone home? Oh! Oh, he's hot. New. <laughs> we should have came here first. But hey, you know what? We got a little nice electric kiss from... Xander, what was his name? Who cares what his name was? I'm over it. Do you usually wander into strangers' homes when nobody answers the door? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was intruding. Oh my god, he's really hot. He's really fucking hot. The scar even makes him hotter for some reason. The arm makes him super hot too. Everything, I don't know. It's a cartoon guy, but you can tell he's fucking hot. You're in my house. How is that not intruding? Oh, uh, right. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> yeah, why would I just go in? <laughs> what could have possibly possessed you to do that? I guess I'm just used to the wasteland. Uh, if you knocked on a door and nobody answered and it was unlocked, it was fair game, you know? I guess instincts just took over for a second. For some reason, I'm going to believe you. I appreciate it. So, can I help you? Right, I'm Wes. I'm I'm Wes. I'm new. Wes, nice to meet you. I'm Jesse. Just trying to meet other people who live here. Mora sent me to meet you. Honesty, best policy. Mora, why? Well, she wants me to meet other people around. She wants you to check up on me. Uh, no, nothing like that. Whatever. Look, if we're going to keep talking, I need to change. I'll be right back. No, take your clothes off. I mean, just keep your shirt off. That's fine. Or take off your pants. Um, make yourself at home. Okay, th I can take my shirt off too. How long have you lived in home? So how long have you lived in home? Couple of years. And before that? Just wandered, same as everyone else, I suspect. You? Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't... I don't think I can say I've lived anywhere since... Since the, since the world ended? Yes, yeah, since that. Selling down isn't the easiest thing to do, especially now. Yeah. Before all that, I never really stayed in one place. I traveled all over. For work, because I wanted to. I didn't want to be tied down. What did you do? I'd rather not say. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset. No, it's fine. Just... It doesn't feel like it had been a, has been a decade, does it? Nah, it doesn't. And yet, so much has changed. The world, yes, but also... Jesse's eyes seemed to glance at his arm, hidden under his coat. Change would happen no matter what, but not like this. But isn't some change for the better? 
I'll just say that. Yes, you're right. Change is continuous, never ending. And if the world were still whole, however, I think I would have ended up like- I don't think I would have ended up like this. What do you think you would be doing if all this hadn't happened? I'd be lying if I said I never thought about it, but truth is, I think about it all the time. My career was just starting to take off. Everything was laid out before me. Better gigs, more money. All I could want for was going to be taken care of. It would have been perfect. Would it have- would it happen? Well, that's what I like to think. It would have been more perfect than what I've got now. I feel like if I was in, man, if I was in a post-apocalyptic situation, it seems like it's a lot of downtime and you're bored, there's no electricity. So like all the entertainment we sort of have now, like that wouldn't really exist. And man, I feel like I'd spend a lot of time daydreaming and you shouldn't dwell on that. What happened anyway? I'm curious. I'm going to be nosy. What happened? Well, I'm someone who always took good care of my appearance. I was a model before. Oh, I couldn't tell. I worked out several times a week. I ate healthy meals. I was proud of my appearance. A couple of years ago, I found myself wandering the wasteland alone. Bandits found me. They demanded I give them all I had, and obstinate asshole I am, I refused. They did terrible things to me. They told me they wanted to destroy my pretty face. God, that's awful. You're still fucking hot, though, so... It, yes. The next thing I knew, I woke up here with Mora watching over me. She told me I could stay as long as I needed. But you don't seem to trust her. It's not that, I just... Everyone here has a job, right? But I don't... I don't know... I know why, but... You feel excluded. Couldn't he have a job doing something he's got one arm? More than that, I feel useless, which just makes me more depressed. I mean, he could do a lot. Like, I'm here talking to people. You don't need arms for that. I'm sorry, Jesse. It's fine. It's not Mora's fault. I knew she has- I know she has my best interest in mind. It's my own pride. Well, I think you have a lot to be proud of. Such as, you're fucking hot. You're still gorgeous. Yes! Uh, will I? Did I really make you speechless just from that? Tough guy? Uh, I guess you did, but... Well, it's a nice lie, isn't it? It's not a lie! You're an odd one, Wes. Isn't everyone these days? Yes, I suppose so. He smiled. <laughs> I'm feeling tired now. I think I'm going to lie down. Okay, I'll let you be then. Thank you for talking to me. It's been a few days since I've had a real conversation. Jesse? Hmm. Can I come back? I th I think I think I'd like that. Oh, look at that. His little smile. He wants me to come back. <laughs> Great. See you then. Yeah, see you soon. Guess I should report back tomorrow. Dude, they were fucking hot, man. Moira? Oh, Wes, you're back. Did you meet the boys? Yeah, I did. They were smoking. And what did you think? Uh, Jill fe Xander feels like he's not being seen. Jesse seems like he has a lot going on. Um, I kind of wish I, I want to, I want to talk about Jesse feeling like he needs a job. Jesse seems like he has a lot going on. Hmm. Indeed, he has been through a lot, more than some of us, and it has shaken him to his core. He has lost his sense of self, in a way. He seemed cold, but in the end, he warmed up to me, a little. That's good. See, I knew you could do this. It's not going to be easy, and I don't want to accidentally hurt him. You have to have good heart, Wes. I know you can help him. What did you think of Xander? Xander, I, uh, I'm going to help him control his powers. You are? Do you think that's a good idea? I can't just let him continue being afraid of himself, of what he might do on accident. Yes, I think you're right, and you, of all people, are suited to help him. Wait, why? You have a good heart, Wes, in a time when so many have closed themselves off to others. You dare to care about others. I'm not sure if that's right, but thank you. Well, I think that's enough for one day. The other two will be coming back to home soon, and you can meet them then. For now, let me show you to your house, and you can get some rest. Mora, Yes? When you talked about the others possibly leaving home, you seemed scared almost. Is that how you felt when I left? Wes, that's how I feel when anyone leaves. It's a cruel world out there. Even I can see that, surrounded by these walls. I don't have a conventional family anymore, so I treat everyone in home as my family. Losing a family member, not sure if you'll ever see someone again when they step outside. That is devastating, every time. I see, I'm sorry. For leaving, I mean. Don't be. We all have things we need to do. I'm just glad you're back. You know, I think I'm happy to be back, too. Here we are now. All right, Bryce Dusen, writing and programming. 
Character background and full screen art, Allison Page. Music. There you go, Duty Group by Kevin McLeod. Cylinder 9 by Chris Zabriskie. That kid in fourth grade who really liked the Denver Broncos by... <laughs> There's... Actually, it helps if I put all this. Thank you for playing the Who We Are Now demo. If you are interested in seeing the full game become reality, please click here. They have a Kickstarter. We hope you enjoyed playing this demo and hope you enjoy the full game even more. Ugh! But I wanted to get a dicking from Jesse. Why isn't that in the demo? Demo starts with D. Jesse's D starts with D, and I'm not getting the dicking. Uh, all right, well... <laughs> I'm interested in getting the dicking eventually. But yeah, I put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, you can choose the different options, I'm sure. See if there's any differences. But yeah, it's a quick demo. And uh, yeah, I'm. there's more. There's another gay dating sim coming out soon. The daddy's, the daddy one where it's daddy's dating. Um, I can't think of the full name at the moment for some reason, but I will be covering that. So many people ask me to. Of course I'm going to cover that shit. Come on, guys. What the hell? Uh, it's a daddy dating sim. You didn't think I'd cover it? Of course I'm covering it. I'm sorry. It's just I got like literally hundreds of messages about it and tweets and all sorts of things. But yes, I will be covering it. Day it's released, you better fucking believe it.